<laughs> Our first article comes to us today from Tom's Hardware. Windows 11's 22H2 update. Here are the new features. Uh, and it looks like the start menu and security are a couple of highlights. But, but Don, what stuck out to you? Well, uh, what stuck out to me is that Microsoft has really not been following their release schedule as they advertised it. You know, they, they said they were going to switch to these annual updates, which is what this one is. But they've also been releasing just a ton of crap each month for the last several months. So it, it's kind of hard to to envision anymore what all is part of this update. But there's a lot in there. Uh, there were two features that stood out to me that actually make a difference. There's tons of features that, in my opinion, don't make a difference. Uh, if you were hoping beyond hope that Microsoft was going to bring back the vertical taskbar, they did not, and have indicated that they've not put much effort into that happening. So still no vertical taskbar. I know that's a big item uh, there, for a lot of people. Are, are there like third party? Down. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. That's like Winnie the Pooh. That's right. Uh, are there uh, are there third party things you can use? Because I know there used to be some things like yeah. when Windows 8 first came out. That... So th th there were, um, but even like the Start 11 or some of the other products out there, they don't give you a vertical taskbar because they're building on top of the framework that's already oh, okay. in there. Uh, you can go really crazy, get something like Cairo Desktop, and, and it lets you, you know, move stuff it's all over like the crazy, place. Crazy, yeah. But, you know, you sacrifice a little bit of stability. and You could rotate your monitor. That was cool. I'm not going to lie. You can. You'd yeah. have to turn your head then because the words wouldn't rotate. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like um, there, was, there was a time that I think Windows, you'd get this third-party install, like desktop almost, uh, Windows Manager, hmm. and it would actually, you rotate like a cube. Oh. You remember that? Yep, I do yeah, remember that. that and super cool. What was that called? Because it's still supported on Linux. Right. Like you can still fire it up. Right. Um, so rotate horizontally as opposed to, look at that, because I was, I was yeah, saying. You're thinking this way. Yeah. 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 It, it looked hmm. like a literal cube. So each each side of the cube on. was a virtual desktop. Right? Yeah, oh, it yeah. Was super cool. Oh, I can't remember the name, but I I know I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, look it up, everybody. Google is your friend. Well, <laughs> it's like a bay window. You know, if only we had something window. in front of us that would allow us to look like, yeah. things up. You research <laughs> that while Don tells us the other features. All right. So one feature that I think would actually be useful is in the file explorer. You now have tabs. So I, I don't know if you guys do like me, but I usually have like my downloads folder and my OneDrive yeah. and a few few other things open so now you can have tabs so it's like mac um no in the in the finder you don't have tabs do you i uh, got tabs right there hey look at that in finder you got tabs <laughs> finder got tabs uh so so yeah just like finder it's a, a cloned copy i was gonna say that but i was holding back i didn't want to steal peter's thunder uh, <laughs> that's it but the the feature that i think is is probably the neatest i mean there's some other things like they they allow you to adjust how many pins show up on your start menu now which i guess is nice if you use those uh do not disturb actually works now which it hasn't really worked since windows 11 came out uh there's been some gaming updates but the big one for me is on the accessibility front now there there's a ton of accessibility features built into Windows 11, but the one that they're introducing here with this newest update is called system-wide live captions. So, like, you ever watch a, you know, you're watching a movie, and you turn on captioning, and mm -hmm. so you can see, because, you know, the, whoever does sound mixing in Hollywood these days works for Satan. So, you know, they, right. you can hear the explosions just fine, but you can't hear the words, so you turn on captioning. Or or maybe you're hearing impaired, you turn on captioning. There's uh, tons of people use closed captioning. It's on the movie, but then you open up a web browser and it's in front of the movie. Can't see the captions anymore, right? So they're, they're gone. So what Microsoft has done is they've introduced a system-wide framework where the captions are actually being rendered by the operating system. And so mm. they stay on top regardless of whether your window is in front or not. So you could have a movie in the background where you can't even see the movie player, and the captions will actually display on screen. That makes sense, because they, they've they kind of been touting those captions for like Teams meetings and stuff. So they've already got the technology. They could just use it to hear what's coming out of your computer. Well, because it's a framework, they don't actually have to do, like, it's not having to use AI to figure out what's being said. If the movie or whatever is already displaying captions and the software oh, has been updated, okay. it just pushes it to the Windows API. Now, they did make a weird choice that I had to research to figure out what was going on. It defaults to displaying the captions at the top of the screen. And I thought, well, that's weird because that strange. It, where is it normally? Oh, at the bottom of the yeah. screen. Always. That's what that's I'm where used the, to reading all my foreign The films. faces are up, <laughs> up top, typically. So I thought that was odd. And it turns out the reason they made that choice was that on most computers, your webcam is at the top 
And so what they want you to be able to do is be um, looking at the uh, camera and still be able to see the captions. So there was a method to their madness. They weren't just like randomly going, oh, we're going to buck yep. tradition. They're like, we know you're watching Netflix <laughs> yeah. during that meeting. That's right. Now it looks like you're paying attention. Yep. But there's a, a simple switch you can flip, moves it to the bottom of the screen, but it does default to the just top. Just the default. Gotcha. Really cool feature. It'll probably take a few years before applications update to take advantage of that. Gotcha. So I, I did look up, I'm, I believe I found the right one, comp is... Comp is fusion. Yes. That's it. Yes. Yep. So yep. I would thought it was barrel or luminosity, but yes, comp is, is um it was was what I was looking for. Yep. C O M P I Z, right? Yes. Yeah. What are we looking at? Oh wow, we're it, looking at Daniel's computer with this new well, camera. Oh, That's my <laughs> that feels invasive. There it is. Here's Daniel's inbox. That's highly it's invasive. Extremely like I'm at hundred percent brightness here, I guess. Daniel's yeah. like, I did not know there we were doing go. that. Kind of the is. privacy screen. Yeah, so, I'll have to get one. <laughs> yep. So they, they've been around forever, and I forget what distro I was using the other day where I saw it as an option. It was like one of the Ubuntu variants yeah, I, or something. I'm seeing on on this Wikipedia page that they a lot with Novell, uh, Red Hat. So pretty pretty uh, still popular, I guess, in the uh, Linuxy worlds. Yeah, those they Linux-y were. But world. man, when I saw that come out for Windows, I thought, wow, this is That's really cool thing. one of the things that I would have liked to seen in my Windows distros. So. Hey, Question on uh, going back to like tabs within either uh, you know File Explorer or uh, can you is there any way you can alt tab through those through the tabs in the yeah. File Explorer? Like uh, I'm I'm not sure yet because I haven't the update hasn't applied to my machine. That but usually so nice. like Control Tab will do that. Or sometimes they get a little crazy. It's like Control Shift Tab or yeah. Control Alt Tab. You have to get all crazy. You but usually it's Control Tab. Oh, Control, 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 control of Tab. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's oh, just changed Mac, my life. So no, but that just changed my life. Uh, well, oh, okay. it, um, yeah, on Chrome that worked. Cool. I didn't know that because yep. I'll hit that all the time, like trying to go between tabs. I'm like, no, that's yep. not. What a- sucks is yeah, when you have multiple key combinations for doing similar things. Yeah. But on different areas, and you're like, oh, wrong one, moron. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know, there is a feature. We're, we're, you mentioned Chrome mm-hmm. um, in Edge. We're totally off on our <laughs> yeah, topic fine. here. but And everybody's loving it. They introduced vertical tabs. Have, have you guys seen this? Vertical tabs. So normally yeah, your tabs yeah, are, are horizontal across side. the top. Moves to the left side. And if yeah. you've got a lot of tabs open, that's way better. Yeah. And I would use that, except... They made it where it doesn't free up any space at the top of your screen. Right. It, it, like, what, why move it them up? It takes up gonna a chunk free... of yeah. your, your screen real estate. So, so Microsoft is is moving your start menu. They're moving your tabs. Yeah, What's next? moving you next. What? Maybe, maybe they'll move the keyboard so on your next laptop, the screen will be on the <laughs> bottom and the keyboard will be on they the top. Put, they put the QWERTY side on the <laughs> yeah. other side, and you got to, like, type. Uh, the webcam's right on the, the right on the bottom here, just straight up your nose. <laughs> like, well, and yeah. don't worry, we'll put the captions at the bottom yeah. of the screen yeah. now. Yeah, it's You're fine. good. You're, You're good. weirdos. Good. <laughs> if you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.